Hi, I'm Congressman Andy Biggs from Arizona's 5th Congressional District. I'm proud to serve on the Congressional Western Caucus. I joined this caucus when I first came to office in January, and I'm grateful for the work of my good friend from Arizona, Chairman Paul Gosar, who is doing an exceptional job at leading this caucus. The Western Caucus exists to protect the interests of the westernmost states. Most people don't realize that west of the Mississippi, there's very little private property ownership. That lack of private property ownership, where most of the land is instead owned by the federal and state government, inhibits our economy and affects even things like funding for our schools. Well, the Western Caucus is designed to restore freedom in the West. These states, besides suffering from lack of private property ownership, suffered greatly under the Obama administration's assault on the states through economic and environmental regulations. Federal regulators have done everything they can to prevent use of land west of the Mississippi. They've impeded us through mining regulations, our fisheries and hatcheries, the oceans, forests, land, wildlife. Regulations from the feds have reduced economic opportunity and job growth, especially in my home state of Arizona. In this Congress, the House has passed 15 Congressional Review Acts to overturn some of the previous administration's most onerous regulations. Four of these acts were led by the Western Caucus, a remarkable achievement and contribution to the work of the body. The Western Caucus is working very closely with the Trump administration to protect Western interests. We've had productive meetings with Interior Sec Secretary Zinke from Montana and EPA Administrator Pruitt from Oklahoma. We have an administration that is working with the states, not against them. The Western Caucus is looking forward to working with the Trump administration to review the 1906 Antiquities Act and massive monuments which were des designated to take away much private ownership of land. We have an ambitious agenda at the Western Caucus, and I'm looking forward to our work in the upcoming months.